Section 2. At the end of this section, you should be able to discuss the cross-section of a timber-producing tree. Now let's look at the cross-section of the trunk and its makeup to see how it grows. If you should take the trunk of the tree and look where the cut is made to remove its crown or roots, then you will see the different layers and structures as shown in this picture. These are the parts you will observe from the cross-section profile. 1. Bark, the thick outermost part of the tree which protects it from external interference such as pounding or scrap. 2. Cambium layer. This is a thin reproductive layer that forms new tissues. It increases a tree's diameter and produces new wood. 3. Sapwood. Water and sap travel through this layer from the root to the leaves or crown of the tree. It also stores nutrients and helps to support the tree. The sapwood is more porous than heartwood. The sapwood usually has more carbohydrates present in its cells, which makes it more vulnerable to insects. 4. Rays or medulla rays. This component carries nutrients laterally through the wood and also stores food. 5. Growth rings or annual rings. A concentrated ring divided into early wood and late wood, showing the age of the tree and increasing its diameter. 6. Heartwood. This was once sapwood but now being clogged with resins, gums and other extractives and helps to support the tree. It is much denser than the sapwood. Pith. This is the core of the wood. It gives strength and rigidity to the tree. Characteristics of timber. The cross section of the tree could also be used to identify the categories, but we would have to take a microscopic investigation on the cell's structure of hardwood and softwood. This way, we would be able to relatively accurately tell if a tree belongs to which category. Generally, timber is classified based on the types of leaves and sometimes its location. Timbers that are evergreen with fine needle-like leaves and a conical shape are coniferous trees, also called softwood. Broadleaf trees with an umbrella shape are often classified as deciduous trees and also called hardwood. Let us take a look at further characteristics of softwood trees. 1. These are usually straight, round but slender, and further up the trunk increase in tapering. 2. The crowns of these trees are relatively narrow. 3. These have fine, needle-like leaves. 4. The bark is coarse, rough and thick, and the trees do not shed their leaves in autumn. 5. Generally, softwood has a lower density, therefore most softwood varieties are softer than hardwood. Let us now look at some characteristics of hardwood trees. The general characteristics are 1. They have large diameter trunks and branches, which result in a wide crown. 2. The bark varies in thickness and colors. 3. The fruits can be pods, berries, and nuts. 4. The leaves are broad and shed their leaves over a period of time. It is useful to note that some hardwoods are softer than some softwood. For example, Basewood or aspen are softer than North American softwood like a longleaf pine or Douglas fir. The softwood cedar is popular for general purpose furniture because it is not so hard to work with and gives an excellent brownish finish and it can also be found in the tropics. The hardwood mahogany is popular for expensive furniture.